the response to your psalm, our response to the psalm is, Let your face shine on us, O Lord, and we shall be saved altogether. Let, Let your, your face, face shine, shine on us, O Lord, and, and we shall be saved. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. Shine forth from your cherubim throne. O Lord, rise up your might. O Lord, come to our help. Our response, let your, let your face, face shine on us, O Lord, and we shall be saved. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. A response, let your, let your face, face shine, shine on us, O Lord, and we shall be saved. Gospel of Levation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You will feel remorse, 
you will feel sorrow, you will feel happiness. Why? Because today's reading from Hosea is the heart of Yahweh talking about love that he felt as God for Israel. It's a language that a parent speaks. When Israel was a child, I loved him and I called my son out of Egypt. But the more I called, the more further he went away from me. Not the children. I took them in my arms, yet they did not understand that I was the one looking after them. I was leading them with strings of love. I was like someone who lifted an infant close to his cheek, stooping down and I gave him his food. God is speaking as any parent would speak to a wayward child. And then God says, my heart recoils from it. My whole being trembles at that thought of what I gave Israel and the response that I got. But I will reign in my fierce anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God, not man. Now you know why we call God unconditional love. You have your answer in Hosea chapter 11 verses 1 to 11. Most parents try to do this, but they give up. They throw their hands up and say, difficult, difficult child, ungrateful. That is why we are not God. We are called to perfection. Now, the frightening part of this first passage is that the apostle who is sent is called to be like this. God struggles with man. Can you imagine man struggling with man? So an apostle, a priest, a nun, each one of us because we are disciples of Jesus, we are called to be that way and to give the good news to Samachar. And there are people who will not accept it, people who will go against it, people who will say what you want, pearls before pigs. I will not change. In the face of this, the disciple, the apostle, the messenger, the one who is sent, includes all of us because we are called all to build the kingdom of God. A sense of despondency sets in. Kittana karega hai. And yet God will say, I will not give way to my anger. I will not do this because I am God, not man. Difficult for human beings to say this. But this is exactly where prayer comes to support us. So anybody who is in authority, Professor, teacher, parent, priest, principal, manager, section, operator in the office, wherever, goes through this turmoil of love, correction, and yet not giving in, not giving up, supporting. Only God can do this. And every time we want to give up or give in to anger, Prayer, peacefulness, rootedness in God keeps us going. That is why scripture reading is important. We started reading Luke on the 1st of December 2019. Today we start reading the last book of the Bible, Revelation or Book of the Apocalypse. Today, 9th July, chapter 1, two chapters a day. It has got 22 chapters. On 19th July, we finish reading the New Testament, not over yet. 47 books more of the Old Testament. We'll start that peacefully. So the more we read the Word of God, the better we will know Him as we sing so well. And knowing Him, we will be able to calm and compose ourselves, root 
ourselves in Him and reach out in love, compassion and goodness. I am praying for this gift lots for myself and for all of us and you pray for me. Amen. I give my hands to do your work and Jesus Lord I give them willingly I give my feet to go your way and every step I shall take cheerfully Oh the joy of the Lord is my strength my strength Pray, sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be an acceptable gift to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and good all of His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring you even greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself is your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with one voice we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who, who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the in highest. The highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit on them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. You and the chalice for salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the religious, the clergy, and those who are consecrated. Remember those for whom this Mass is offered, those who died in the last month and are remembered today. Remember all our prayers and petitions, Lord, for those undergoing surgeries, those still in quarantine, and those who have died. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and Blessed Apostles, our patron saints, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. God is our Father. He loves us unconditionally. Formed by faith and divine teaching, we pray. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to share the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I will never forget you, my people. I have called you on the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you often. I will never forget my home. Does a mother forget? 
Let us pray. God, Heavenly Father, having praised and thanked you at this Eucharist for the deep love and unconditional love that you show us, we pray for each family and home and parish that obstinacy and unfaithfulness may give way to joy and to love. We ask this. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing one of our favorite songs, favorite for children, grown ups, adults, as we sing God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so Oh, oh. 